Hello friends, today we are going to see how to send email message from one Gmail account to another Gmail account using the PHP Mailer library. Now, why do we require this PHP Mailer? Many PHP developers need to send email from their port and the only PHP function that supports this directly is the mail function. However, it does not provide any assistance for making use of popular features such as encryption, authentication, HTML messages and attachments. So to overcome this, we are going to make use of this PHP Miller library. PHP Miller is much easier to use than the mail function and provides a clean, readable, object-oriented syntax. It also provides many functionality over the PHP core function, mail function. And probably it is world's most popular code for sending email from PHP. Not only that, it is used by many open source projects such as in WordPress, Drupal, OneCRM, SugarCRM, E, Joomla and many more. It has also integrated SMTP support, means you can send email messages without a local mail server. Not only that, it can send emails with multiple to CC, blind carbon copy and reply to addresses. It can also provide multi-part or alternative emails for mail clients that do not read HTML email. It also provides support for the UTF-8 content and other encodings. It also provides SMTP authentication with login, plain, CRAM, MD5 and XO Auth2 mechanisms over the SMTPS and SMTP plus star TLS transport. It validates email addresses automatically and it protects against the header injection attacks which are done using the SQL. It can also provide error messages in over 50 languages. So these are the benefits of using PHP Miller. Now let us see how actually download this PHP Miller library and how to write the program for this to send the email. Now in this tutorial, what I am going to do is that I have these two Gmail accounts. One is called as the ifdpt0078 at the red gmail.com and another is kkwpit alumni at the red gmail.com. So I will be sending one email message from this ifdpt0078 to kkwpit alumni. But for before sending this, we have to make one change in the settings of the Gmail account. So let me show you that. Just click on the sender Gmail account. Click on manage your Google account. Go to security and uh, go to the less secure app access. Now by default it is turn off but uh, for enabling the PHP Miller library to send the Gmail message we have to set it to on. If your setting is off then turn it on just like what I have done. Now after doing this let us go to the command prompt to install the PHP Miller library. Now if you recall I have done this in uh, mpdf library installation so you know that i have used composer software so i will be using the same software to download the php miller library so i'll go to my php lessons folder and i will just type here cmg now my command prompt has opened so here i'll just write here composer require php mailer forward slash php mailer and then press enter remember your internet should be on at this time so it will take some time depending on your internet speed and after installation you can just then directly go to your php lessons folder and you can see there 
a vendor folder has been created by a composer and within it php mailer library has been installed now we'll be using this php mailer library to write the code to send the gmail message so now i will go to my notepad plus plus and here i'll start writing the code for sending the message so here first thing that i have to do is that i have to import the php mailer classes so here i'll just use php mailer slash php mailer slash php mailer semicolon remember you have to import this classes at the top of your php script not within your functions otherwise it won't work so here i will also import the smtp class since i am using the smtp protocol now next i'll just load the composer auto load so here i'll write a require vendor slash auto load dot php now first thing that i need to do is that create a object of class php mailer so i'll create dollar mail is equals to new php mailer so after creating the object next i'll set it that i'm going to use this i'll be using the smtp protocol so i'll set it by using smtp so basically this statement means that we are sending using smtp protocol now next i have to set smtp auth is equals to true so what happens due to this statement is that it enables the smtp authentication this gmail uses the smtp protocol now next we are going to set the host and the host is nothing but our smtp.gmail.com after setting the host next we are going to set the port so by default we are going to use the port 587 as the tcp protocol now next we will send the recipients and the sender now in our case as i have already shown you that our messages will be sent from this ifdpt0078gmail account and uh, i could give it some optional name as it department now next we have to set the username so mostly it is the same as from where you are going to send your gmail your gmail message so in our case it is nothing but ifdpt0078 so i'll set it to 0078 at the red gmail dot com. Then next, I have to set the password for this. And password, the password which is used to log into this, that should be written here. After this, we have to set to whom you want to set this. So for this, we will be using the function add address. So I'll set the add address to kkwp it alumni at the rate gmail dot com, and uh, I'll set that the username here is say suppose it alumni. So after setting the recipient address, 
now next i'll set the content so within the content first i have to set the email format so my email format is is html so i'll set this as uh, true then next i'll set the subject for this email so here the subject is say suppose hello after setting subject next i'm going to set the body so within body say suppose i'll write here a test email i can use br tag if i want and then say suppose i'll write here world is beautiful after this i am going to put here if condition to check whether my email has been sent successfully or not so i'll just use send method and i'll just echo that if the message was not sent successfully then just it will type there message was not sent else i just wanted to echo that message sent successfully close the bracket and then just close the php script so let us give the name to this file so i'll be saving this within my php lessons folder which is in the e drive zam ht docs php lessons so i'll give the name gmail to gmail dot php i'll go to my web browser and here i'll just refresh it and uh, i'll try to run this gmail to gmail file so if the mail is sent successfully then it will give the message message sent successfully now let us go to our gmail account to check whether it is sent successfully or not now our sender was ifdpt0078 so just check the send folder so here if you just refresh it here our test mail is appearing and if we just check the kkwp it alumni just refresh it and you can see here our email message has appeared so this is how you can send email message from one gmail account to another gmail account using php library